It seems we have only a few days to a new eruption in Iceland, in the Reckoners Peninsula, especially in the Swartzengi volcanic system. Land uplift swelling due to the magma accumulation has reached almost the level that it had before the February eruption, as you can see here now. In more details, you can see that it's almost surpassing it just a few hours probably just to pass that threshold when such a thing happens it that magma is uh, accumulating under the Swartzengi and then flowing sideways we don't see any tremors that is worrying for me as a geologist that means the pathway which are already there the seals and the pathways for the magma are there there is no need for the earthquakes to open up new new pathways so the magma can actually rise easily First, it flows from the Swartzengi to the surrounding areas. It doesn't erupt in that Swartzengi, it seems. It's very compacted due to numerous earthquakes, closing all the gaps and cracks in the ground. What we see now here is a depth of the, from um, 9 to 5 kilometers and then above, earthquakes are gradually rising. In a few hours, it can change to a big swarm of earthquakes. And uh, we have this is the pattern we have seen in the previous eruptions. At the surface, we see just some uh, small amount of the heat rising from the area. But when we look at the uh, similar situation, not just sourcing it, to, but to the adjacent area in the Fegedestrial Volcanic System to the east, which is now here, I will show you, that is also some evidence for rising of magma. And then to the east of this, again, Krisovic volcanic system, where it is written clear forward under it at depth of five kilometers, we have also uh, some earthquakes. Magma is connected to each other at the depth when it is in the mantle. But when it rises to the surface, you have to rise through the fractures in the ground. These fractures are blocks of the rocks because this is a rift valley we have there. And this rift valley, when one moves and there is eruption, for example, in Swartzengi, Blue Lagoon area, then we will have the next one has to move, accommodate the date, uh, the movement like a wave. They will displace to accommodate that movement, and we see transfer faults, transferring movement from one volcanic system to the next one. They will not erupt all at the same time, but that means we will have a decade or decades of upheaval and unrest in the Reckoners Peninsula after 800 years that we didn't have anything in that scale. At the depth, I will show you again here, the magma reservoir is at the mantle. It's not a magma chamber. This is an ophiolite system, practically, we are seeing. Oceanic crust is being made, built there. Through the dike, which is the fractures in the ground, in the earth crust, they can rise to the surface. And then, uh, when they rise to the surface, they melt and they will form lava. That is the, the, the situation. We can see practically why using these geophysical techniques by the earthquakes and by the depth of the earthquakes, we can see that the area is gradually, you know, the mantle of the earth uh, is rising because the earth crust is pulled apart, thinned out. When it is thinner, the, ma the mantle can rise and gradually melt for magma and then through that we will have eruption. You can see it here. This is an ophiolite sequence that we see all around the world, including Oman, through those mountains, Cyprus, and in Iran, in also Britain we have in the Lizard Point. We have it here on, on the Earth crust. We can see it in Iceland. Uh, Swartzengi volcanic system may erupt in a few weeks' time, or a few days even. The estimate previously was that by the end of the February or early March, and that estimate stays valid, and we expect that happen soon now that we are near the end of that period. What is significant in Iceland especially is that we are seeing the ophiolite sequence in formation in real time. Ophiolite sequence is a mechanism of the earth forming new oceanic crust at a depth from the mantle, formation of magma, then rising it to, this, uh, to a uh, near surface area through dikes, as I showed in the bubble diagrams of the earthquakes, then erupting to the sea. 
forming the pillar lavas, like this one in the Turus Mountains of Cyprus. We have in the lizard pond in the United Kingdom, in Iran, in the Oman also we have it. In Iceland, we are seeing it in real time. Oceanic crust being built to the dikes from the mantle to the surface.